Ran live in Nice with their unique collection. Good morning. Good morning. So we are taking you back in time this morning. You can't help but smile. It is so much about your childhood. Now, you talked about the lunch pails. We're going to show you those in just a second. You can see the big doll collection that Retro Deb has. She's known as the original picker. And if you are looking for something that is from back in time, well, this is the place to be. And, you know, you were talking about those lunch pails. Let me show you some of them. In fact, uh, we've been looking and trying to find our old lunch pails that we had. You know what those plastic thermoses? You only oh, the yeah. cool kids yeah. have the cool lunch pails like this. So you had to make sure you got those. Now, a lot of this stuff is for sale as well as some of it being a museum. Deb, how do you decide what you're going to sell and what you're going to hold on to? Well, I like to sell my doubles. So I try to collect them for people that are looking for uh, a certain one from their childhood. Like Campus Queen is a, a generic Barbie. Yeah. So Pe people like People that. will call you and say, hey, do you have this? Now, let me take you guys back down over through here. Uh, because make sure that uh, Tracy Ketchum is walking. Deb, you come with me too because <laughs> look at all of this stuff that she has from carnivals. So you oh, you started out oh, getting the boy. vinyl, oh, no. the vinyl stuff, right, for the dolls, and then and then how did this just branch out? I mean, because even some of this stuff just from like old uh, doll houses. Right. I love anything that has to do with miniatures. So these are all um, different appliances, and some companies actually made them for kids. Westinghouse and, and such, and they would make them so that their parents would want to buy the same brand. Oh, yeah. So, little Susie Homemaker. Now, let me thing. take you back through here. There is so much to show here. Uh, if you ever get the chance to be out here in Nice, it's only a two uh, hour drive from Sacramento. You definitely should come check this out because when I'm talking about all of these different lunch pails, those, those ones that we showed you are not even half of it because look at all of these. Keep looking and see if you see one from maybe when you were in um, elementary school. Now, you don't put prices on any of these. No, these are, these are the museum. But, so but if are there are some that people are looking for, you really can't put a price tag on it because they, they sort of start changing, Luckily. right? Why is that? Well, you know, everything it's just like stock market. I go Goes up and down, up and down. Sometimes, uh, let's say it's HR Puffin stuff's uh, 50th anniversary or whatever, and they, they they call me and say, "Oh, do you have HR Puffin stuff um, items?" And then I have to go in and check my inventory, and I, I know exactly where everything is. And it's not just this, you guys. She also has bins as well that are in the back. So if you are a collector, some people will just come and start going through the bins. Retro Deb, if they want to find you, you're on eBay, you're online, they can come here. How do they find you? RetroDeb.com and Retro Deb on eBay. And also, um, I have a, a Facebook page, okay. Clark's Collectibles and Lunchbox Museum. Which is the name of this, which is where we are, Clark's Collectibles. It's right off of Highway 20 in Nice. Come on out. Retro Deb is famous, I by the way, it. for uh -huh. all of this stuff. And uh, she can help you find what you're looking for. Can be. I used to have. Ooh. If maybe if you you can tweet me a picture if she has it. I used to have the Smurfs. Okay. And I also had and it was the plastic one. Okay. And then I also had. Oh, not the metal one. No, the yeah. metal Smurfs. one. I had strawberry shortcake. Aha, uh -huh. Smurfs and strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll look for them. Okay. <laughs> we'll look for them. Smurfs and strawberry shortcake. And, and Camby, I always wanted Smurfs. to have. Jeff knows where like everything is in yeah. here. Yeah. I always wanted to have a welcome back Cutter. Um, lunch bell when I was a kid. Okay. My dad wasn't into that. Oh, welcome back Carter. If you welcome back Carter. <laughs> If you find one, bring it here. <laughs> All right, thank Welcome you. Welcome back, Carter. That's great. The thing I'm trying to tell Camby about a show she's never heard of. I you know. Just told me yeah. she said it. Yeah. Welcome back, Carter. No, <laughs> Potter. Mm -hmm.